Uh, Senator Oberacher, a ranker for five. Thank you. And gentlemen, thank you all for, for coming in and, and giving us your, your testimony today. Uh, my first question uh, would be to our DMV, uh, Commissioner Schroeder. So as a uh, owner of horses, and an and equestrian, I guess would be the word that they use, uh, and as I've traveled around, I see a lot of uh, out-of-state plates that are on trailers uh, for horses. Uh, not to kind of berate uh, the state of Maine, but a lot of them I know are registered and, 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 uh, uh, and so in Maine. And so what I was wondering is, is there a way that maybe we're missing out on some potential revenue stream by not looking at or, or changing some of our, our processes? I know you can get like a longer registration uh, in the state of Maine for, for a trailer. I know... Uh, uh, the rates seem to be a little bit better for long ground. So is that something that maybe we, we, we could look at? And, yes. And yes. I, in, in fact, you know, I've been, I've been prepping now for months. And, and so this has not come up one time. So I'm glad you brought it up. And I, I will work with staff uh, to look into this because this could be an opportunity for New York. This is exactly the reason why you're presenting it to me. So I appreciate it. And we will get back to you uh, offline and tell you what we've found and how we might be able to work together. We may be able to be helpful without any legislation or amending the VTL. Uh, so we'll look at that first. Uh, but if we do need help, you'll be the first one to know about it. Well, I thank you for that. And, and, and if you could, um, if it affects rates too much, uh, please uh, strike this uh, so my wife doesn't, uh, you know, <laughs> kick me out of the house, so to speak. Yeah, so thank it'll, you, it'll Commissioner. Be I appreciate that. Right. My, uh, my next question would be for our, our throughway uh, authority. Uh, I, it's actually it's two, two questions quick that I think could be probably answered in, in together. Um, is there any thought or is there any um, process involved with uh, the, the study of increasing the speed limit on the throughway? And uh, if there is any thought process to reissuing, if you will, the exit and the mile markers. If, uh, when I've traveled around a lot to some of the other uh, um, uh, uh, highways, if you will, there seems to be like a, if it was a 200 mile marker, the exit's 200 and so on. So I'm just wondering if there's any thought process uh, down the road for, for instituting that on the thruway. On your first question, no. On yeah. the second, uh, we, we're looking at that. Senator Griff was raised that. There's a number of issues and, and uh, complications mm -hmm. uh, to, doing, to doing that. Uh, but we certainly, again, always uh, will take the time uh, and be respectful to the legislature to, to look at any issue that's raised. Great. And you've answered my question in such a concise and quick manner. I'd like it noted that I'm giving back my two minutes. Thank you. <laughs> 